Hello all of you beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I set up my April bullet journal spread. So I know it is already mid-April and I'm sure you guys were expecting this video a lot sooner and to be honest, I was expecting to get this video up sooner as well. But life has been so hectic lately as you guys all know, I'm still in college and so it's towards the end of the semester and everything seems like it's just piling up and everything do in these last couple of weeks of school but anyways enough about my rambling about my life i hope you guys enjoy today's video so for april's theme i decided to go with eggs and you guys may be thinking like why would you choose eggs well if you guys have not watched my last video it was a sticker haul and i got a whole bunch of new stickers and one of the sticker sheets that i bought was an egg themed one and i just thought it was super cute like that was probably the fav my favorite sticker Sticker that I received out of like all the ones in those videos and so I had to use it for this month's spread I was just like obsessed with it like ever since I saw it I thought the cute little eggs faces were just so adorable and I was like oh my god like I totally have to do this for my next month's spread so that is what we're doing so I put a giant egg there so everyone knows that's gonna be the theme of April and then I wrote April in this really cool like different font I don't think I've ever used this font before and so it was kind of cool like creating it and of course I left a section for the next month so things that are due in May I can go ahead and write it down there and then of course a section where I can write down all of my YouTube video ideas and for the next page I decided to add a pan and it has a bunch of different eggs in it I think it has one two three four five six seven seven so it has exactly seven eggs for each day of the week and so this is going to be the second week of April because I actually started sketching this out the first week so I wasn't able to include the first week of April in this spread but it's okay because we can make a bunch more creative designs since we have less weeks if you know what I'm saying. So for the pan and the eggs I first started by sketching it out and then I went over it with my micron pen and I just outlined everything and then I was trying to find a way that I could color everything but I didn't want to just use markers because I didn't have markers to match the colors that I wanted I only have very few art supplies in my dorm so I was trying to find out a different way that I could color everything and not use all my marker ink if you know what I mean so I decided to use my brush pen to color in the pan and I used purple and then I used a Crayola super tips in another purple but this one was darker so I used it to create shadows around the eggs and then to paint the pan I didn't have anything gray so I decided to use some acrylic paint and I just watered that down with some water and I kind of used it to make a light gray wash I was originally going to use ink but my ink was I don't know why it just wouldn't open I think it's because the ink kind of like glued itself shut so I have to fix that but I was kind of in a rush so I decided to use some acrylic paint instead and that's what I used to color the eggs and the background of it so I used a turquoise paint for the back and I wanted it to kind of look like a watercolor ish texture so that's why I used a lot of water and some areas are darker and some areas are lighter and then I felt like the image was looking a little bit plain since so there's a lot of blank space in the background. So I added the words excited and then I used some of the stickers that I had mentioned earlier in the video and I used that to kind of fill up the extra space as well. And then I just kind of doodled a bunch of different little dots to kind of fill up the extra areas. And this is what the second week of April ended up looking like. And for the next week of April, which is week three, I decided to make this weekly spread egg themed, of course, since we were still going with that theme. But I wanted each day of the week to be a different kind of egg. And I couldn't really think of that many different kinds of eggs, only the ones that you see here. So I included an egg in its most basic form, which is just an egg that is still in its shell. And then we also have the sunny side up eggs, and I included two of those. And then we have two double eggs so I know not really creative but I wanted to include some different looking eggs than the ones that we had done previously because last week we just had the egg yolks and so I figured we needed some of the egg whites you know so that's what I included on this page and I figured it looked a little bit plain there wasn't really much color going on besides the yellow 
So I added in some purple shadows using the same marker that I used on the last page to color the pan. And I also went in with a Crayola Super Tips in like this orange color and I went over all of the stickers. I also used some of the stickers that I had used on the last page to kind of fill up the space over here and I think it really brought the entire page together. And then of course I added each day of the week onto each of the eggs and I forgot to add Tuesday. I don't know if you guys noticed that but I went like straight from Monday to Wednesday and so I had to kind of fix all of the numbers because that kind of threw everything off. But yeah, this is what my April week 3 ended up looking like. And of course, for the last week of April, I wanted to do something really cute and unexpected. And so I'm not sure if you guys knew what it was right off the bat when I flipped the page, but this week I wanted it to be an egg carton. So each day of the week will be in each of the little sockets where the eggs would sit. And I made the sockets a darker color so you would know where they were. But I, I don't know, do you guys think it looks like an egg carton or did you think it was something else when I flipped the page? Because to me, it kind of looks like an egg carton, but I didn't really know what else to add to like make it look like an egg carton. I tried to add some highlights on it using a Posca pen, but that didn't really show up very well. And so I'm kind of just relying on the color to give the clue that it's supposed to be an egg carton. And I got this idea from one of the stickers included on the sticker sheet. So it was like a couple of eggs and they're like sitting in an egg carton. They're like all screaming and they have like funny little faces. And so I wanted to save that one and put it on this page because I just thought it was very fitting and very cute. And also so everyone would know what I was drawing on this page as well. And on the top of it, I included the words April and May, so this week is April 26th through May 2nd. And on the bottom, I just kind of decorated the empty space by adding a bunch of different eggs and these orange circles. And this is what the last week ended up looking like. And that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this month's bullet journal theme and the spread that I came up with. I know I included a bunch of different and creative ideas, so I really hope you guys enjoyed them. And let me know what you thought of them down in the comments below. But as always, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!